In the US, it is estimated that more than 350,000 households have a pet tortoise of varying species. Tortoises are generally calm, fun and engaging. Choosing to keep one as a pet, however, is a sizable commitment, more so than what some may believe. Tortoises are often confused with turtles, though while the latter spend most of their lives in the water, all tortoise breeds are terrestrial animals. There are multiple tortoise species, and as they vary in their likeness, so do the level and type of care they require. Some are easy to care for novices, while others are more challenging. If you are someone who is looking to become a first-time tortoise owner, the list that follows lists the best tortoise breed for a beginner. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for more amazing pets content. With that being said, let's begin. Egyptian Tortoise The Egyptian tortoise is also called Kleinman's tortoise. This species of tortoise is usually known to live in deserts of countries such as Libya, Egypt and some parts of Israel, but happens to be critically endangered in the wild due to their generally small sizes. The Egyptian tortoise can only grow a maximum of 5 inches, so they are considered one of the smallest tortoise species known to man. When acquiring these creatures, it is advised that the purchase is made only from authorized breeders, as this serves to protect the endangered wild population. This tortoise pet is apt for individuals who do not have a really big space in the house to contain a larger tortoise breed. For the enclosure, the Egyptian tortoise does not require much. Just a four square foot tortoise table should be just fine. This species of tortoise thrives indoors better than in outdoor settings, provided that you have total control over temperature and humidity in its abode, creating a hot, dry, desert-like environment to which they are already accustomed. Their tank temperature should always be in the range of 75 Fahrenheit to 85 Fahrenheit, with humidity in the range of 20% to 30%. Also, they should have a UVA basking light and a UVB light. When properly cared for, the Egyptian tortoise can have a lifespan of 70 to 100 years. They are hard to find due to their very limited availability and rarity, so they tend to cost more than other tortoise species with a price tag of around $1,000. Marginated Tortoise The marginated tortoise got its name from their unique flared rear marginal scutes. These creatures are generally found in Greece and are capable of growing to a length of 12 to 14 inches. They fare better outdoors than indoors as they enjoy digging in the soil and living in warmer, sunnier climates. If you have abundant outdoor space, keeping them outside is your best bet. The marginated tortoise should have an enclosure of at least 16 square feet, temperature around 85 Fahrenheit and humidity between 50% to 70% to help keep them in great health. Also, they should have a 90 Fahrenheit to 95 Fahrenheit basking spot from their UVB light. Their diet includes weeds, flowers and leaves to help keep them hydrated at all times, helping to improve their overall health. A properly cared for marginated tortoise can live for 35 to 50 years. Unlike some other breeds, they are not wildly expensive and you could purchase one for around $200 to $500. Pancake Tortoise This tortoise species can be seen in sub-Saharan Africa and is known for its characteristic flat sea turtle-like shell, unlike most other tortoises that have a high rounded shell. The pancake tortoise is surprisingly fast not a trait common to most tortoises, which is a kind of defense mechanism, as its flat shell provides little to no protection from predators. Their speed, however, makes playing around with them a bit more fun. They can grow up to only about seven inches in length, so they do not require much in terms of living space. The pancake tortoise can thrive in a 40-gallon aquarium or a four-square-foot tortoise table, as long as it always has a maintained, consistent temperature of 70 to 75 Fahrenheit and humidity of 60% to 75%, as well as also a UVB light and a basking spot. This tortoise species has impressive climbing prowess, so their enclosure should have a screen top or high walls in case you are using an aquarium or turtle table. Their diet includes various grasses and leafy greens. In terms of breeding, they're a bit of a tough species to propagate, as they tend not to breed well when in captivity. Though not as common as some other tortoise species on this list, their export is steadily monitored. Due to the various restrictions involved with their exporting and distribution, they are sold at around $400 to $600.
leopard tortoise. This tortoise species is regarded as the second largest species found in Africa and the fourth largest tortoise on the planet. The leopard tortoise weighs around 40 pounds and can grow up to 17 inches long. They can only be housed outdoors due to their large size and enclosure of at least 80 square feet and should be kept at temperatures between 80 to 90 Fahrenheit. These tortoises are challenging to take care of because they can't simply exist in all environments or conditions. Therefore, setting up their enclosure takes planning, which can be difficult to start. But with time, the adjustments and maintenance get easier once the animal has settled. This tortoise species comes in an array of colors, such as yellow, brown and black, each having a unique pattern on its shell. They are herbivores, so their diet includes seeds, nuts and grains. In their wild habitat, they tend to spread these seeds around their territory, which in turn grow into plants. If properly cared for, the leopard tortoise can live for around 50 years. If you're looking to buy one, their price point is somewhere between $200 to $300. Red-footed tortoise This tortoise species can be seen in South America and various Caribbean islands, making them the first on the list to be native to South America. Their name is derived from their prominent red legs and in some cases a red head or red tail, with both being present in some cases. This unique feature got them the nickname Cherry Heads. The red-footed tortoise can grow up to a length of 14 inches, so their enclosure should not be less than 50 square feet, with a moderate temperature of 80 Fahrenheit at all times, with 70 to 80 percent humidity. They also need to be provided a UVB light in their enclosure. One of the differences between the red-footed tortoise and other tortoise breeds is the fact that they are not strictly herbivores. Their diet can include fruits and leafy greens, as seen in other tortoise breeds, but they can also feed on insects or small mice. They are very easy to manage and care for, making them recommendable for any beginner. The red-footed tortoise can live up to 50 years pending good care and can be purchased for $150 to $400. The price typically varies depending on the animal's age. Herman's tortoise Herman's tortoise has a brown and yellow shell with beautiful patterns. They are native to the Mediterranean region. They are relatively small in size, measuring only about 8 inches in length. One of their unique features includes a single horn-like claw which can be found at the tip of their tails. The Herman's tortoise thrives more outdoors. Hence, they must be housed there, with their enclosure being at least 16 square feet with temperatures of 70 to 80 Fahrenheit, as the Hermann's tortoise is already accustomed to such temperature due to its native habitat in the Mediterranean. They also need a basking spot, so ensure that their enclosure contains a UVB light. Just like the aforementioned pancake tortoise, they are quite active and enjoy climbing walls as well as large rocks. Non-toxic plants and other decors should be included in their enclosure, also meaning that the enclosure should have high walls. It is also recommended to scatter their food in their enclosure to encourage more movement and ultimately prevent boredom. They are gentle, making them ideal for a beginner pet. Their diet includes kale, dandelions or fruit. When properly cared for, they can live up to 75 years. Their price ranges from $200 to $800 though it varies depending on their age. Indian Star Tortoise As their name implies, the Indian Star Tortoise is commonly found in India and Sri Lanka. Their popularity is somewhat attributed to the star-like pattern, leading to their namesake. They can grow up to 12 inches, so a 36-square-foot enclosure should be just fine, though they are best situated outdoors than indoors. The Indian Star Tortoise can survive in varying humidity levels, they are more adaptable to varying climates because they come from a region of the globe that experiences both annual monsoons and dry periods. They are quite sociable, making it easy to have more than one at the same time, and also quite easy to care for. Acquiring this animal as a pet is currently challenging as it is currently illegal to export this tortoise species because they are threatened in their native habitat. This difficulty in exportation, however, makes them the most expensive tortoise to breed on the list as they can be purchased in the price range of $500 to $4,000. Because of the tenuous nature of their market distribution, the Indian star tortoises must be acquired from an authorized, trusted, captive breeder. Sulcata tortoise 
The Selkata tortoise, sometimes referred to as the African spurred tortoise, is native to the Sahara Desert. It is regarded as one of the largest tortoise species on the planet. They can grow to an impressive 30 inches in length and weigh over 100 pounds. Irrespective of their big size, they are still wonderful for beginners, as long as they are handled properly. Their outdoor enclosure should be about 80 square feet, which is nearly impossible to accomplish indoors. They enjoy burrowing and digging, just like the yet-to-be-mentioned Russian tortoise, so ensure to create enough space for them to do so. Their diet includes grass, leaves and lettuce, as is common with most other tortoise breeds. If they are properly taken care of, they can live up to 50 years even while in captivity. The Selkata tortoise costs around $50 to $200 and can be readily bought from a captive breeder. Russian Tortoise The Russian tortoise can be seen anywhere from southeast Russia to the Middle East, though the breed is quite popular in the US. The Russian tortoise enjoys warm outdoor enclosures, but if kept indoors, they need to be at room temperature, with a humidity of 30 to 50 percent, with a UVB light pointing to the basking area. They can easily adapt to varying temperatures and are generally easy to care for, making them a great choice for beginners. Their enclosure should be about 8 square feet. They are burrowers and tend to dig at the corners of their enclosure, so it should be lined with dirt or material that permits them to do so. They also tend to hibernate and dig underground when the temperature gets too hot or too cold. The one notable thing about the Russian tortoise is that this breed prefers not to be handled by humans, so they are best left to roam and rummage on their own. They have a similar size as most of the other species listed above, measuring roughly 8 to 10 inches in length and can cost around $80 to $200 to acquire. Greek Tortoise the Greek tortoise is native to the Mediterranean and the Middle East and is amongst the most popular tortoise breeds in the world. They are quite easy to spot due to their domed shell and golden black color pattern. It has a characteristic spur on either side of its tail, hence the invention of the breed's other name, the Mediterranean spur-thighed tortoise. Greek tortoises can only grow to a maximum of 10 inches, so their enclosure should be at least 18 square feet, though bigger is fine. They prefer to live outdoors so it would be probably best to set up its enclosure there. The Greek tortoise is strictly terrestrial, so they do not climb walls, meaning there is no need for high walls in its enclosure. Generally, they should always be kept in an environment with temperatures around 75 to 90 Fahrenheit, a hot basking area supported by a UVB light. Lastly, the humidity of their environment should always be between 40 and 60 percent, and never outside that range. The Greek tortoise is a herbivore, so they will eat vegetables such as carrots, broccoli, leafy greens, etc. Though small in size, if properly cared for, the Greek tortoise can live up to 50 years. New owners can find this breed priced at around $200. Getting a pet tortoise is not a light commitment. One of the biggest factors is their longevity, since most breeds will have lifespans of up to 50 to 60 years. Older owners may want to consider the fact that if taken care of, the tortoise will most likely outlive them, so contingency plans are important to consider in terms of who will take responsibility and care for the animal. Those not interested in that factor should consider a reptile that has a shorter lifespan. Another important factor is the tortoise's size, as they come in small, medium and large varieties, and with each size, the enclosure space needed also varies. Adults are more expensive than hatchlings. While most pet tortoises have a price range of $100 to $400, the Indian star tortoise, the Egyptian tortoise and the pancake tortoise have price ranges above average, making them a lot more expensive than the others. Bringing you more value per minute than any other pets channel out there, or at least trying to. We would appreciate if you at least like or share this video. That would mean the world to us.